Challenge. You can only send space deco and send space rushes. Bet, we're gonna be doing this challenge in today's video. And in case you're new here, I take challenges from the comment section that have the most likes on each and every single one of my videos. So long as the challenge isn't too crazy. So if you guys wanna see a certain challenge, let me know down in the comment section below. Or if you see a challenge that someone else commented about that you like, make sure to give their comment a like. And if you guys do enjoy these challenge videos, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And two, make sure to click that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And with your help, we can do it. So make sure to subscribe because it's free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. Also use code Boltrix in the battles too in BTD6 shop. Hashtag ad. And it looks like our opponent zero is gonna be Agent Jericho. We instead are using my boy Oben, since we are using the strategy of Druid Alk Sub. And Oben really pairs up well with Druid strategies, of course. So we're gonna be starting off with a Druid actually, right about here, setting this to last, upgrade to the Hard Thorns, and then we should be absolutely chilling. Okay, starting off with Agent Jericho though, not the play, especially with us setting Space Blues here, okay? You guys already know, with today's challenge, we can only send Space Deco. And pretty much space deco means that the balloons are quite literally spaced apart. Whereas like grouped reds, for example, if you were to send those, you would notice that they're all grouped all together, like all clumped together, if that makes sense. Oh, shoot. I didn't go for a round one open. Okay, I'm selling, but it's fine. We'll get that pixel perfect placement then. I think that's the best spot, right? I hope so. And you can even notice what the icons as well on the balloon sends. The reds currently have two balloons, whereas the blues and the greens have one balloon. That signifies that they are space balloons, just like space yellows here on round three. So we can only space deco and only also send space rushes. And in regards to my class balloons as well, with the icons and everything, it's gonna be the same situation, okay? I'm gonna go for that Heart of Vengeance upgrade finally. Let me actually set this to close as well, just so that we can start getting an increase of attack speed for this druid, okay? With the more lives that we leak, the more increase of attack speed that we get on this specific druid okay so that should be hopefully enough i think we leaked a few lives technically before we actually went uh for the heart of vengeance okay so after you leak down to 70 if you're at 150 that is then you have the full 100 percent increase of attack speed okay he's gonna steal our cash yeah there, there's nothing we can do about that absolutely nothing man okay so kind of sucks but it is what it is okay so Although we do have to space eco during these earlier game rounds, we're not effectively building our eco, which really, really sucks. But we do have alt eco options as well. I decided to give myself a little bit of help. So we can eventually go for some druid farms. We can go for some rubber to gold as well on the alchemist. So we, we definitely have got some options. Okay, hopefully they don't die here though, right? They did have the tower boost. Oh my god. <laughs> the power of space decoing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Okay, let's go for... The brambles all the way in the back of the map. Space Blacks here on round six as well. I mean, bro, he literally never forced me to upgrade to the Druid of Wrath here. I probably still should. I mean, I have the money for it, right? So, yeah, let's just do that then. We got to make sure that the Alchemist, when we do go for an Alchemist, because yes, for the mid-game rounds, I do want to Alk buff this specific Druid right here. Uh, but we got to make sure that the Alchemist only buffs that druid no other towers at freaking all he's gonna steal our cash again bro there's no way for me to avoid that oh that so sucks man okay group jealous here i don't know man like i still need to leak a few lives to again get that full 100 increase of attack speed but of course this druid is just too op i'm not even gonna leak okay wait camel balloons though within the ai because of the balloon adjustment so this could actually be kind of sort of good for us i'm gonna start uh, to go for my D camo sub because yes i will need that for sure okay more group yellows here i guess then yeah we can upgrade to this that's all good because again there's going to be more camo balloons here i want the camo balloons to eat up the brambles okay so i'm going to save these brambles then because i'm trying to purposely leak here bro and then we'll go for the alchemist i guess like right here because it's only inside the range, or the Druid is the only tower that's inside of its range. So it's only going to be buffing that Druid. Spike Factory. Okay. Boat Spike Factory. I mean, the last tower that would make the most sense would be the Alchemist. Okay, wait. I can send Space Evers. What am I doing? I'm so stupid, guys. I wasn't even paying attention. 
Oh, no, I could have sent those on round nine. Okay, now I can only send space leads. Again, with the icons. Notice the leads are the only ones that have singular balloons. Wait. Freaking don't die. What am I doing? Bro, I'm actually all over the place. Okay, round 12 space rainbows. These are only available for this singular round, by the way. So it's super, super important that we send these now. Although, uh, our defenses are terrible. I can't lie. Let me go for a brambles, too. Our defenses are so bad. But I guess our opponent over here, too, player, is definitely struggling. He does have the spike battery, though, again, in the back of the map. So I guess for now, he's okay. But I think what I probably should do, should I just go for a reactor or should I out buff? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, let it go. I don't have enough money for it. It's okay. Wait. No. Get those pops. The druid is still... Bro, the druid literally stole all the pops right there, man. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so the only spaced eco blue we can send at the moment are space ceramics. We pretty much don't want to do that, okay? Purple's here. Surely we're fine, right? Back to first for this for a second. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was scary for a second. So I guess then we should probably go for either a rubber to gold or the jungle's bouncy because i'm not equal with okay now i can't even send space ceramics but i wasn't gonna eco with space ceramics bro that wouldn't have been the play so i guess rubber to gold it is and not a pixel perfect spot too that kind of makes me cringe but we'll, we'll set that to close that can make us a little bit of money i guess and then maybe after that though we go for the jungle's bounty here okay round 17 look we can send spaced maps. Notice how there's only one map, but on round 19, there will be two maps, indicating that we cannot send spaced maps anymore, but rather fast cooldown grouped maps. Okay, so I'll just show you guys an example here. Okay, so if we send two maps right now, notice how there's an initial cooldown, and then there's an initial cooldown on the next one, and look how they're spaced apart from each other. So we can send these rushes, but we cannot send grouped mob class balloon rushes. Hopefully that all kind of sort of makes sense, but uh, there we go for that there. Beautiful. I'm going to go with the bottom path upgrades. Is he fine here? Yes, he is. Fair play. Well done with that. Um, can we actually get some leaks in from these camel balloons? Maybe. I'll try then. But there we go with that. Yeah, see, this is exactly why I needed the ability to go for all the eco options. Because uh, this is not going to cut it, boys. Wait. I got scared, bro. I don't know. This freaking adjustment is scaring me. Okay, wait. No, bro. Okay, go for another jungle's bouncy then. There's just so many camo balloons. Okay, lead to gold and rubber to gold. Let's make us uh, uh, some cash. Ah, dude. I'm so scared every time, bro. Okay, there's probably going to be a decent amount of camos on this round, though. Let me go for another druid farm here. Beautiful. No, there's a camo ceramic in there. I can't leak that. Ah, oh, this is going to be too hard, boys. I mean, I'm down to 23 lives. I was trying to get an increase of attack speed on this druid right here, but I, I don't know if that's going to be possible, boys. Okay, so we could send spaced BFB. So I'll send him an unfortified BFB here because it forces him to decide whether or not he wants the boat pool, which a boat pool is $5,500, I think. So that's quite expensive, of course. And he did decide to boat pool. Okay. Um, submerge you. Okay. Jungle's bounty. So we have what? Four, five jungle's bounties. Okay, let's go for trees in the front of the map, by the way. So target you up here. Go for that. Beautiful. Because trees make money only from AI balloons, not player sent. Let's get you back in the back of the map again. And he's not really doing anything, though, at the moment. So there's not really much that we can do. Bro, we, we can send spaced BADs. Oh, ZOMG! Okay. So, how should we defend against this? I'm going to go for one more jungle's bounty. I mean, obviously, first striking it would be the, the smartest thing for us to do. But, like, can we even first strike it? Are we going to have enough money with having such a low amount of eco? I don't actually know. Okay, and we're already doing some damage to it. That's not good. I didn't want to do that. We probably could technically defend without first striking. I hope because I just did a damage phase, though, that that doesn't mess up the first strike in here because yeah i think i should just do that but i'm gonna wait until i have a little bit more money okay two fortified bfbs as well i don't like that guys i do not like that at all oh my i really don't like this okay i think i scratched that 
Oh, shoot. We're at the tower boost this. Go for this. Surely that defense with boost, right? Yeah, we're good. We had to sell everything, baby. But an event is an event. Let's freaking go. Okay, I was going to go for another pop list right here, but I guess we didn't need it. Okay, let balloons here. Rubber to gold, I guess. So you the close. Use that at least. Spirit of the Forest ability, the jungle bounty ability on it. Makes a little bit more money. But yeah, we probably should try to rebuild these. I don't know, man. Wait, are we dead to DDTs? Oh, shoot. We actually might be. Because we don't have an alchemist to buff this, right? Okay, wait. I'm going to go for back here as well. This will be my eventual superstorm. But for now, I need to go for some Berserker Brews, bro. Because it needs the ability to pop lead since it's cross path with the bottom path. So maybe I should have just cross pathed it with the top path. Since uh, I didn't get any increase of attack speed. Okay, I'll go for trees in the back of the map too. That can eat up up to two DDTs for us. But yeah, man, this is like all over the place. I mean, he's fine against DDTs, by the way. So we can send space DDTs right now. But again, he's just fine. He's the Spike Factory, guys. Spike Factory is one of the easiest ways to pop down DDT. So I don't think sending that would be in my best interest. Okay, I can sell this for 28k. Bro, I can't even sell into a Superstorm here. There's literally actually no way. Oh my god, I could be screwed here then. If he all outs me with DDTs, I easily could be screwed. He is currently equaling though, so I guess that's a good sign. Do I even go for more Druid Farms, bro? My money game is so bad, bro. Okay, if I send him a BAD on round 30, okay? Spaced BAD, by the way. He might just counter with DDTs. That's the thing that I'm really scared about. So if he does that, we got to make sure that we can defend against a potential counter, so... Uh, maybe instead of Alchemist, we should have went with the uh, Spike Factory. Yeah. Spike Factory definitely would be a lot more reliable. I feel like the Alchemist is like barely helping me out. I didn't even Alc buff this Druid either during the mid-game round. So, yeah, I don't really think the Alchemist was the play here. But, I don't know. We could send an unfortified BAD at the moment. He might just send us one, though. If he sends us one, can we defend? I don't know, boys. I, I don't freaking know. I'm actually so scared. Okay, I'm going to save my trees, though, to effectively help us out, of course. Round third. I'm going to wait for a rush, okay? We're going to go for the defend here. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to. I'm going to go for a pop list here as well. Beautiful. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Is he just e He is. He's just equaling. Okay. I needed to stack up my cash then. So, I, again, I can sell this for 28k. Because I'm thinking about just selling this into the Superstorm. So, we have $23,000 on hand. But we also need money to send him a rush. <laughs> Wait, we can only send a BED. We can only send a space BED until the end of this round. Round 32, we can't send space anything. So, we have to rush him. Oh, wait, he's rushing us. Okay, I'm going to have to counter, though. I have to. Okay. Do I try to first strike this? First strike micro? I'm going to balloon boost. I don't know, bro. I'm going to run out of money. I'm literally going to run out of money, bro. Okay. I'm going to have to, though. Oh, my God. This is so bad, boys. This is so bad, boys. No, maybe I don't first strike micro this. Maybe without it, I'm fine. Uh, it does decent damage, but, like... I think I just go for Poplis here. No. No, bro! No! Alright, we're gonna run it back here on the same exact map. And just trust me, I'm gonna be space sequeling throughout these earlier game rounds. But since we already saw like what the early game is like in the first game, I'll probably cut out a lot of this, although let's go for Oban this time around on round one, okay? So for every mistake that we made in the last game, bro, we're going to correct it in this game, okay? And we start off with using the Spike Factory. That's the first mistake that we fixed because the Alchemist, again, it, it just was not the play in the last game. Our opponent started out with the Bomb, though. Now, the Bomb, I don't know, like, is it actually even good in this map? I could not tell you, but 
He's definitely not going to be liking the fact that I'm sending a lot of space deco here. He's ultimately delaying his hero, which is Striker Jones, I believe. Um, are we fine? Yeah, we're good. I mean, we do need to leak lives here, though. Don't get me wrong. So, let's just go for the Heart of Vengeance right now. Target this to close. This to close as well. Because we're actually going to get our first level 3 Brambles ability at the start of round 4 here. Okay, so, if we can leak now, that, that would be fantastic. So like I said in the previous game, we need to leak exactly to 70 lives to get that full 100% increase of attack speed. So put you back to first here because I'm scared. Okay, I think I might just go for Heart of Thunder here just because I'm chasing like a lot right here, which really sucks. But if you think about it, it's fine because I'm not going to be greeting in regards to like sending a lot of group yellows on round seven or something like that because I can't send those. But Let's go for our brambles back here as well. Use that. Beautiful. Look, it looks like he actually can't fully, fully defend against all these space whites here. At least that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, look, he's actually really struggling. Oh, no. See, this is why the bomb for this map, again, I don't know if it was the play. Like, don't get me wrong. He's fine. But if he just, like, slowly but surely leaks. Oh, is it because he didn't upgrade his bomb? Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. He's fine, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize he didn't upgrade his bomb, but... I guess, I think, I mean, we were fine against the mid-game rounds and stuff like that with just a sub, a reactor in the last game. So, I'm thinking maybe just a 402 times a 203 Druid might be pretty quality defenses uh, for the mid-game rounds. Okay, so that's probably what we'll end up going for. He's going to be sending me some group to yellows here, which is absolutely fine. Let's go for Druid of Wrath, though. Okay, just so we're ultra, ultra fine here. And two on round nine, we're sending space zebras this time. That's another thing that I forgot to do, which is actually really, really important because it's a very fantastic spaced eco send during the earlier game rounds. So definitely don't want to miss out on that this time around. We can just start going uh, for this decamo sub up here as well too. Round nine here. I think, I don't know. I have to watch out. For round 11 because he can send me purples without a reactor sub i can't defend against space purples so do i greed with just sending as many space sievers as i can here or do i play it safe oh, i really want to send a lot of space sievers i mean he's only sending space blacks at the moment okay we're gonna greed actually no 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 we're not no we're not no we're not no we're not we're playing it safe we're playing it safe okay got it down I can only send space sleds right now. I actually don't even have enough money for that. Awkward. Okay, mortar. Bomb mortar with Striker Jones. Go to combination for sure. Let's send space rainbows here now. Beautiful. I'm not going to cross path yet. I don't think I need to technically on this reactor. But eventually, definitely would like to go with that bottom cross path. For that increase of pierce and whatnot, okay? I think we might have a little bit more eco or maybe just like the same. Because we have been popping the balloons right as they come out the map, man. My freaking goodness, okay, but... Oh, wait, I was gonna go for a lot of gold. Can't go for a lot of gold, bro. I'm not ecoing with Space Ceramics. Actually, wait. Space Ceramics, though, might be a good rush. It might be. It might force some defense over on his side, so... Or a Tower Boost, at least. Oh, is he really fine against that? Yeah, he went for Double Cluster. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Okay. <laughs> 863 eco now, baby. I don't know, like, do I hit, like, a thousand eco? Maybe I do. Screw it. Just keep sending them. My eco is actually going up in a, a crazy amount right now. <laughs> Yo, space eco with the space ceramics. It's the new... Oh, wait, I can't send them anymore. Can't send them anymore. I didn't send any groups, by the way. I forgot, round 16, you can only send group now. Okay, so 968 eco. Definitely a bit better than the last game for sure. Uh, and I'm surprised that the Space Ceramics actually ended up kind of sort of working out right there. Okay, but we're going to have the Spirit of the Force in a similar spot right here. Might as well just start going for that now. Already got the ability. Beautiful. Uh, do we want to cross path this with the bottom path? Yes, we do. We do, we do, we do. Oh, wait. We can't get our leaks in, though. I'm actually an idiot. Because I have such a dense pile of brambles. Okay, you might send us a Black Class Balloon here, though. Uh, so far, no. Okay, I'm going to go for another jungle's bounty. So now we only have all eco with our druids. We don't have the alchemist at all to help us out. That's the one thing 
Well, the one way that the Alchemist helped us out in the last game was that we'd go for, like, rubber to gold, to gold, and stuff like that. But it didn't make, like, too much of a difference, I guess. We do have to watch out for round 18 fortified Moabs, by the way. I think here, probably should, like, target my Brambles, like, more out here or something for Moab class balloons, okay? Because I probably could leak here. Let me unsubmerge this. Because I think the Brambles over time, yeah, they pop away. So we might be able to leak. Get in a few leaks in to get that increase of attack speed for these future tier 5 druids. It's going to go for another one down here. Mm. Brambles too OP, baby. Brambles are just too OP. Start going for another jungle's bouncy here, though. I didn't even send any spaced um, mobs. Uh, so I don't know if that was a sell or not. But, dude, we got to win this one, boys. That is the main goal with this game. I mean, we're always trying to win, right? But... And the last one, bro, like, I don't know, man. There was just not much that I could do. So, pretty unfortunate stuff, okay? But it's about to be round 20. With actually having all these jungles bounties here, I'm thinking we're going to be fine in general. I'm going to send him an unfortified BFB there. Okay, that will keep it busy. It might force a mob shove over to his side. And it, it's a pretty straightforward defend, though. So, he should be chilling. We'll see, though. Okay, let's go for uh, trees for the... Actually, wait. Wait, I will go for trees, but now? Okay, wait. I messed up, didn't I? Yeah, I messed up the spot anyway. Submerge it, just to be safe. Wait, did he actually tower boost against that? No shot he did. That's actually super, super surprising. Okay, do I send a ZOMG? Hmm, I don't know, boys. ZOMG is a little bit of a risky play, not gonna lie. Okay, got the trees money. I think a fortified ZOMG would be pretty good, but he could just go for a mob shove and really stall it. Although, that just got nerfed, so we'll do it, bro. Because we gotta win. We gotta go for the win with this one. It depletes our eco by quite a bit, but we have more jungles bounties this time around. So I guess we got that going for us. But yeah, dude, I couldn't even get any leaks in. Okay, wait, there's gonna be camos, though. Camo purples on round 24 that we could use. Let's use all those abilities. Okay, he's going for the defend. Okay, he's level 10. I don't know if that was a good level 10 or not. Wait, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Okay. Down to 35, okay. Uh, probably could get in more. Okay, no more camos. That's all good, though. All good, all good, all good. Is he fine here? I'm gonna balloon boost just to scare him. He did stun all of that. That was good. Good stun right there, level 3. Okay, he's gonna use artillery battery. And he's gotta worry about the inside. Is he good? He is good, ladies and gentlemen. Fair play. Well freaking done. Guys, what are we gonna do? Okay, he's sending me a ZOMG. Bet, we can first strike this. And then I'm gonna go for, yeah, I'm gonna have trees in the back of the map to help us out, okay? Cause I'm scared about round 26 DDTs or I actually have spike factory. Kind of forgot to show that. Oh shoot. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, boys. This is kind of scary. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. This is pretty scary stuff. Okay. Maybe. Spirit of the Forest again. Okay. Spirit of the Forest might actually be the better play here. I need to get these. Okay, wait. I mean, we're fine. Oh, I need more money. Okay. Just use that just to help out. Okay. Is that the times five? That's times four. I need one more. Surely that defends. Yeah. Times five, Poplus. That's got to defend. That's got to defend. It just has to. Let's freaking go, baby. We're good. 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 Right? Okay. Woohoo! Let's make it go, baby! Come on now! Put some respect on my name, baby! Do we just all out with DDT? No, I don't think we do. Oh, I can't even send them. I can only send spaced. Shoot. Shoot, ladies and gentlemen. I, I kind of forgot about that. Not gonna lie to you guys. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, no. That's really not good. That's actually really, really bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to send him then. 
a spaced BAD on round 30. He, he won't be able to defend. Even if it's unfortified, I don't think he's going to be able to defend. He depleted his eco by a lot. He sent us a lot of ZOMGs right there. So, yeah, I think that is going to be the plan. He's going to try to counter with DDTs. So, we're, we're going to have to spike battery, right? So, that's why we're going to have to go for spike storms. We might actually have to sell this. But I don't want to sell it just yet. Because if he sends me a BAD unfortified on round 30... I think a times five pop plus Spear of the Force might be able to defend. Maybe. That's a big, big maybe, too. So, we're, we're going to see what happens here. Let's use that ability. Brambles as well. Even though Brambles is not going to help us out all that much. Okay. Get ready to send this. Come on. This round's taking forever. Send that. Mm, I didn't send it quick enough, probably. But it's fine. We're going to balloon boost. Oh, early balloon boost. What am I doing? Okay. We're going to have a spike factory on the map ready to go. Okay, he's going to probably counter with DDTs, I'm assuming. Okay. Oh, he died. Dude, we were dead. Guys, we were dead. <laughs> we were dead to that, bro. I don't think a double spike storm would have been able to defend. I couldn't go for the carpet of spikes either. I didn't have enough money. I probably barely didn't have enough money. But we got the win with only sending Space Deco in Space Rushes. Again, guys, if you want to see more challenge content like this, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And two, consider subscribing if you haven't already. It's free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where they finally buffed the Sky Shredder in Battles 2. See ya!